What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Luigi Gonzalez and I'm a first year medical student studying at the University of California, Irvine. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my backpack and what's inside it. So basically another one of those kind of videos where I show you what I need on a daily basis just so you guys can get a good glimpse of what it's like living my life as a medical student. So let's get right into it. So if there's one thing that you need to know about me, I don't know if you guys have noticed if you watched my desk setup video, one thing about me is that I love finding good deals, especially, you know, through Amazon. I feel like Amazon is very underrated. Nobody like people always think whenever they're buying from there that it's going to be low quality, but that's definitely not the case. One prime example of that is my backpack right here. So my backpack, I just found on Amazon. I'll make sure to post the link down below. It's branded Ambor, which is a brand that I've definitely never heard of. But when I looked at the specificities, the details of the backpack, I was definitely impressed and I knew I needed to get it. One of the main things that I really like about this is that it's very safe just because of the lock that it has up top. Um, it's padded in the back. When you wear it, it's very, very comfortable. There's a lot of pockets inside. If we take a closer look at this main pocket right here, we can see that in the back, there's a slot for your devices, your iPad, your laptop, whatever you can put there. And then in the front, you also have one zipper pocket and one open pocket. So in the zipper pocket, you could put important things like your wallet and in the open pocket, you can just put random miscellaneous objects that you don't necessarily want just floating around in your backpack. And then if we take a look at the front pocket, you can see that there's even more pockets. There's slots for, you know, like pens, pencils. There's um, a mesh zipper pocket where you can put, you know, like things like a small notebook. For me, I put my extra ID cards in there. Um, and yeah, overall, it holds a lot of space. Even when you look at the sides for your water bottle, it's, you know, like enough space for a decently sized water bottle and at the same time it kind of has a clamp to make sure that it doesn't fall out but one super special thing about this backpack is if you take a look inside you'll find that there's these two cords right here and with these two cords one is kind of like an earphone jack while the other is the end of a usb and that's where i attach the portable charger that i was given to on my orientation day from uci so that's where um, basically these cords connect to the side pocket right here. So in this side pocket, there's other ports that you can connect to. So my um, portable charger, my charging cord for my phone can connect in here while this um, outlet itself is connected to that portable charger. So, you know, while I'm putting on my backpack, I could have the cord hanging out stuck to my phone. So my phone is charging while I'm on the go and I don't necessarily have to have that portable charger in my hand, you know, like, or I'm unable to use my phone because it's charging here with that portable charger. I'm able to be on the go while charging my phone. So it's definitely very, very useful. And I honestly have been really liking this backpack for the price that it is, which is less than $30, I believe. I feel like it's a decently priced backpack. Definitely it's lasted me for quite a while now. And I've brought a lot of things. Some days are, my backpack needs to be heavier than other days, but this has made it through all of that so far and it's been almost half a year of medical school. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this backpack. Um, but with regards to that, let's move on to the things that I have inside, starting with the tech that I bring on a daily basis. So the first tech that I wanna talk about is my MacBook Pro. Right now I'm using it to record the audio for this video because I'll be editing on this MacBook Pro later on, but yeah, this is a 16 inch MacBook Pro that I've had since I think two years ago. This is the MacBook that I used to submit my medical school application. So there's definitely some sentiment to this tech. Um, but yeah, having 16 inches is a pretty big size for my MacBook, but it's because I use it for, you know, work, school, YouTube editing. It's definitely been great, especially with the addition of the touchpad on the top of the keyboard. It's been super, super helpful, especially when it comes to editing, but overall it runs great. It has one terabyte of space and it's definitely a pretty good investment, even though I know it's pretty, pretty expensive. The next piece of tech that I want to talk about is 
this. So this is actually an iPad mini and it's an older generation. Just because the school gave us a specific amount of money, you know, to spend on tech, whatever we may need. I have um, a more newer iPad, but I actually got the iPad like four or five years ago. Um, but that one is just more so my personal iPad. So whenever, you know, like I'm just watching shows, um, I have some sketchings on there. I have some apps that I use to edit thumbnails. That's where I would do it at. But this iPad, the smaller iPad that I bring to school on a daily basis contains all of the things that I need to study for is this iPad mini that I got for free basically because the school gave it to us. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of important apps that I have on here. I have Outlook, the main email that I use for school, Google Calendar, of course, just make sure that I get everything done. Um, my Canvas Blackboard version for my school. And most importantly, Notability. That app is everything that I need just like to study and to make sure that I understand all of the content that I need. It's what I used to take notes during class. And also, can't help but mention it, Anki, of course, one way to, you know, assess how much I'm learning, how much I know the content. Definitely, definitely, definitely needed for medical school. But yeah, in addition to the iPad, I also got the Logitech case. And with the Logitech case, you just hook it up, Bluetooth, um, and then you can just start typing and start using the mouse pad right here. So it's honestly very, very useful, very easy to use. The Logitech case wasn't too expensive at all, but at the same time, it just saves me a lot of time when, you know, instead of writing with my Apple pencil, I can just start typing just to save myself some time to make sure I don't miss any important notes. So I definitely recommend getting one of these keyboards if you have an iPad. So when I was talking about my iPad, I mentioned using an Apple pencil to write. That's actually an error. I don't use an Apple pencil. I use a Amazon stylus pen. And again, I'll make sure the link is down below, but with this pen, you know, it works the exact same way as an Apple pencil. The only difference is that it has to be constantly charged, not just magnetically through the iPad itself. Um, and in my situation, that won't work anyways, because the um, keyboard has to be connected at that spot where the Apple Pencil will be charging. So I have this chargeable stylus pen rather than spending $120 for an Apple Pencil. I got this for a good $20. It has a lot of life. I feel like for a full charge, it could go maybe six to seven hours of being used. Um, so that's actually a lot. And even if it does run out of battery, when you buy it, it comes with a charger. And if you take a look, the charger has a USB port in the end. And going back to what I was talking about with my backpack, if since I have a portable charger in here, I can just plug this in to this outlet right here and then basically start charging my phone. Or if I'm not charging my phone, then I'm going to be charging my Apple Pencil while I'm waiting for my next class to start or if there's a short break and I need to recharge my pencil. So everything works out. You have to start with the base, which is your backpack and build around that just to make everything more efficient and just better overall for you. So yeah, that's what I use for all of my tech. Um, some other miscellaneous tech, I guess that I should bring up. I have my AirPods. So again, this runs out a battery. I can recharge it with this backpack. I got this nice little like Jordan one case for it. Um, I bought this a while back. But yeah, that's basically it for all of the tech that I use on the daily basis. With regards to other miscellaneous tech that I might not use every day, but I still often keep in my backpack, we have to start off with an external flash drive, um, an external hard drive to be more specific. This one is by WD. What I really like about this is, you know, it looks pretty cool, the design itself, but if you take a look at it, it's pretty sleek and it's pretty lightweight, which I definitely really, really like, especially with all of the, you know, the 16 inch MacBook, my iPad mini with the case, it's going to start piling up. It's going to get really heavy. So everything that I bring, everything else has to be lighter just so that I save my back for the future. Um, besides the flash drive, I also have this. You guys have seen this in my other videos. This is my Anki studying controller, like a VR wireless remote control that I use to study Anki. It's connected to my um, MacBook. So every time I need to study Anki, I just pull it up turn this on. It's automatically connected and then I can start 
cranking out those cards at a much more efficient rate. And the last thing is this USB um, adapter, USB hub kind of thing. Just because my MacBook doesn't really, you know, have all of the ports. I don't know why Mac did that or Apple did that, but yeah, like my MacBook only has USB-C ports, but I still use like the regular USB cables. So I need an adapter to work with that. And when I'm editing videos, transporting videos, an SD card needs to go into my laptop somehow, so I need that adapter. And the one that I got is more expensive than others I've seen, but it definitely works better and it also has a larger number of ports to it. So I definitely think it's worth the money. Okay, so moving on to non-tech, I guess I'll describe it as miscellaneous items in my backpack. Um, first off, as you guys can see, I wear glasses, so my glasses case are in there. I also make sure that I always have a spray like just a cleaning spray for my glasses that I always use because now that we have to wear masks, when steam pops up, my glasses will fog up. And at the same time, sometimes it just gets really dirty. It picks up dust really easily. So I know that each glass case usually comes with like a cleaning cloth. Um, but what I also like to use is this. So this is like a little tool made by Peeps. And I know it's kind of nerdy to pull it out and have to use it. But what's really nice about this is that one option that you could do Let's push up this lever and you'll see it's like a mini brush that you can use to wipe away dust. I know, pretty nerdy, but the even better thing is if you extract this whole thing out, you can see that there's like a two-sided sponge slash cloth thing that you can use. You basically put your lens in between there and as you wipe around after you spray it, it definitely does a great job of cleaning it. And when you put it back into the case, you can see that there's like a fiber in there that takes away all of the dirt that's picked up on here. So yeah, once I slide it back in, it gets cleaned and everything is compact in this one little thing. It's very inexpensive, but very, very useful, especially for those of you that wear glasses. And of course, you need to stay hydrated all the time. This is my Hydro Flask that's been with me for like four years now. It's been a while, but yeah, I just like the Hydro Flask. It works better, keeps the, my water cool. I'm not a big fan of drinking like hot drinks, like coffee, I know everybody has that you know like stereotype of if you're in the medical field you need to be drinking coffee all the time but i honestly don't like the taste of coffee so i haven't been drinking coffee maybe that'll change in third year but we'll see and the last group of things to mention in my backpack being a medical student is that i have a list of items that are medical related um let's start things off light so I actually have this pen. It's a syringe pen. It's pretty cool. I got it back when I was volunteering for the Copelt Scholars Program. So as you can see, yeah, it works like a regular pen, but then there's that blue fluid in there. So it just looks super cool to have. Um, and then another kind of pen that I need to bring around all the time. This is a pen light. You guys can see it lights up. And the cool thing about this is that there's a ruler on the side. And then also on the other side of the pen, you can see there's like a measurement of black dots varying in size and the um, length or like the radius or sorry the diameter in millimeters posted right underneath them so that's just I think when you're measuring you know the amount of dilation on the eye whenever you shine the light on it to test for their um, cranial nerve 2 and 3 then you're able to measure how much dilation occurs um, this was honestly a gift by my mom shout out to my mom so yeah it's been very very useful so far especially for those classes where you know like we practice our patient care and practice performing physical exams next up every medical student's got to have a stethoscope mine is the Lippmann 3mm stethoscope it's worked out great i can confirm that you can hear heartbeats with this thing you can also hear you know like stomach sounds bowel movement you can hear air going into the lungs it's been put to good use so far. Definitely a great investment. And this last thing was a gift from the medical school, just to flex on you guys a little bit, you know? So they gave us this ultrasound machine. And yeah, the case has been getting dusty, but I promise you I've been using this just because we have, you know, like ultrasound interest groups where we go and practice using ultrasounds. Um, I also have my own ultrasound gel that, you know, sometimes I'm just curious, just practice on myself. I've given myself bruises right underneath like the, my xiphoid process which is like this hard bone right here because one way to check on your heart is to press it against your underneath your xiphoid process and angle it up 
and sometimes you have to dig deep especially if i'm sitting upright because it's hard for me to do it laying down so bruised myself doing that before but yeah i just you know had to shout out uci for giving us that ultrasound it's been really really cool and it's definitely great to have as a medical student okay and that concludes this video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you see something that you're interested in that you might want to purchase make sure to check the description down below because i posted the links for almost all of these things if i didn't let me know in the comments and i'll make sure to hit you up with the link um, but overall i hope this video helped you guys get a better glimpse of what i need just living my life as a medical student a lot of it has to do with studying a lot of tech involved just because of the amount of information and how education works nowadays but yeah i mean everybody's different but i just wanted to sh show you guys what mine is like and show you guys you know like what my life is like revolving around these items but overall thank you for tuning in if you want to see more of this kind of content let me know in the comments down below and make sure to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace